how's it going? And today I thought I'd do something fun. I'm making my way through creating the universe, the elements, and I thought, you know what better time than now to move out to space? So I thought I would work on creating a planet. And so that's what I'm going to do. And in Lightwave, this is actually really fairly easy to do. And once you got the basic shape like you're seeing right here, it's just adding a texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and start, as always, from scratch. So I'll just clear the scene out. If you hit D on the keyboard, I'm usually in the single view. But in this case, I want to be in the double vertical like this one. So on the right side, I'm having my current camera view. And I'll have that in VPR. And then I'll go into backdrop and turn off the gradient because that's distracting to me. And over here, I'll be in the perspective view and just texture shaded solid. So to get started, the first thing you do is you just make a null and we're going to call this planet, of course, and we'll just go OK. And there it is. So then all we got to do is go into properties. We're going to choose shape. We'll leave it as a sphere. The radius is going to be one. The displacement, we're just going to put that at 0 0.04. And the accuracy, we're going to put at 8. And we'll just leave that at that. And you can kind of see what we got. Now with our light, I know I want the light actually coming from the other side. Just fix the light right now. So I'll just go into the top view. I'll click on the light. And I'm just going to drag it over here on the other side of light. And then I will turn it around like so and then let me go back into perspective view I want it coming more from let's see I want it more from the side like that that's how I want it yeah always side lighting always seems to be the the best way to go okay and we see it the, the light right there all we have to do is just go into the surface editor and then just start playing around with some settings and things like that. Nothing too complicated. So in the surface editor, we're going to go into our edit node graph here. And as always, you know, it's always seems to be the case. Um, we want turbulence. <laughs> turbulence, yep. Can't go wrong with turbulence, right? So we're gonna click it once and double click it once and double click it twice. We want two of those. And this is where your creativity comes in. There's a lot of other choices you have under here under the procedurals for textures. The one that I think works the best of all these, and you can try all of them, I think this hetero terrain is pretty good. So let's try that. Now, once I got this, I'm going to blow this up. Can I resize this? Can I grab this? I'm trying to resize this a little bit. I'd like to kind of see planet at the same time I'm messing with the settings. So. Just trying to give myself a little more room here. There we go. Okie doke. Okay, so let me just scoot some stuff around here. And there's our wind turbulence. And there's our hetero terrain. We'll put this one up here. We'll pull this down like this. We'll have this like this. Let's just do the turbulence first. So I don't know what color you want your planet to be. Red might not be a bad choice. So we can just click over here in the foreground color and pick a red. And of course, that's up to you completely how red you want it. And then let's see, what settings do we use? The 0.5 is fine. We can give this a little contrast. 25 frequencies, we can put 12. For scaling, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. For scaling, we can just type in 0.5. And again, you can adjust all these later. These are just settings that I've been playing around with. And so there's that. And it should look something like that. If that's a little too intense, maybe I'll maybe I'll come down a little bit on that. Hold on. Um, might drop the opacity a little bit on that too. Okay. And that's our first turbulence. And then our second turbulence, so I'm going to adjust all these first, and then I'm going to go in and hook everything up. So the second one is pretty close to the first, except, let's see, we're going to have two blacks here. Both colors are black. This is turbulence two, right? Okay, 0.5, make the contrast 10, frequencies will be 12. And leave all those there. 
Let's see, for some reason that doesn't quite seem right to me, but we'll go ahead and see what happens. So now, and this will just leave this on the default for right now. Okay, and let's just see what we get. So to plug all this in, we're gonna put the alpha into the position here, and then we're gonna put the color here into the foreground color here. And then we're gonna put the color here into the color here. And you already see we're, we're getting ourselves something. And then we need some displacement. Now I can tell just by looking at it that it's pretty shiny, and of course we don't want the planet that shiny, of course. So, although, yeah, we don't probably want it that. So let's see what happens with our displacement now. So we want to put the alpha here into the displacement there. And then you really start getting that a lot of texturing. And now it also looks like we're getting a lot of crazy light coming in, but that's coming from the specular. So let's just go ahead and let's kill that and let's get rid of this specular because we definitely don't want a shiny <laughs> a shiny planet and i think right there you really got something that looks really cool like it looks like a planet that could have had water on it at one time it's just a nice texture so i would just encourage you at this point to go in here and just play around with the settings to see what you like and what you don't like and what you're getting and all that stuff like that. But that's basically our planet. Now, one thing I did find as I was playing around with this that I liked was if you go into items light and then we add, let's add a point light here and I'll just call it point so I'm sure what it is. And that's right now it's in the center of the planet. If we go into light properties, let me see something here. I, I um, always have to refer to notes with Lightwave. I have a big old binder with stuff in it because there's, there's just so much uh, to know. Let me see what I have for my point light here under properties. Uh, okay, so I was just checking what I, the intensity was. So it's in the center of the planet right now. So let's just click and drag this to the outside, like to the edge right there. And then let's really crank this up. Let's, uh, let's go 25. Now we should be able to drag it more this way. Oh, see there. <laughs> now I'm going to show you. It looks a little crazy right now. I realize that. Let me. You can drag it almost to inside of the planet, but I want to show you what you can do with this. It adds a real nice. Now that might be a little too much light. Let me look at this from the top view and see what I got here. Yeah, I'm not even on the planet there. So get light right there. Okay, somewhere maybe like you want to center the light where maybe there's a a patch of land or something. So let me go back into perspective. You see this little patch of land right there? That's kind of where I was hoping to be. Okay, so let me back off this light. Now it's obviously way too bright at that. Too, too, that's too much. So let's bring it down to just 10. And then let's do this. Instead of white, let's change the color to another form of red and see what happens. See that? But maybe that's not, that's still too bright. So let's bring it down quite a bit here. I'll bring it back down quite a bit. And then let's just play around. I'm just trying to, let's forget the red and let's try yellow. Yeah, I like, I like that a little bit better. But I'm, I can see right now I'm really going to have to bring this down. And maybe I'm going to have to, let me go into the top here again. I'm going to have to pull it inside a little bit here, right, right on the surface there. And I think I'm going to have to bring it way down, unfortunately. Before I had it a little bit lower. What I'm trying to do is just add a little something extra there. Oh, you know where I should put this now that I'm looking at this? See this little land mass over there? I think it looked better over there, so let me let me drag it over there. See now I've I've completely got it out of view here. So let me I must have it in. I don't have it too far back. Let's see here. I'm gonna go this way. There it is. See that's. I think if I come down now. Okay, is it coming down? I'm going in. That's why. You just gotta play around with this to get it in the right 
spot. Now I could probably bump it up in brightness. But you see what it's doing? It's actually looks like it's a little bit beneath the surface. So if you, I guess a long story short, you can play around with your point light and add a couple more on here and really create an interesting look. Like if you don't like that color, let me go back and change that. Maybe, maybe I should go back to that red I had originally. Something like that. Well, you get the idea. You can, uh, that doesn't look quite right to me. Let me just playing around with it to try to get a something that really adds some contrast because you've got this area of higher light, different color. You can just really make something that's kind of unique, I think. I think I'll just go, I'm going to go with my yellow. Maybe a lighter yellow. Let me try that. Yeah, I like that. I really do like that. Okay. And that's how you create a planet. <laughs> it's just a lot of playing around and tweaking. And I think that hetero terrain really does a good job. Now we should be able to, if I'm on the planet, if I, let me come over here and go to 240, 240 frames, make it a little bit longer. And I drag this to the end. I should be able to give this thing, I mean, you don't want it spinning too much. I mean, it would be unrealistic. If I go to rotation, I should be able to just turn it a little bit here. Maybe just like a degree or two. I don't know how much degrees would be realistic. Not too much, obviously, right? But just maybe 10 degrees, something like that. Just a little bit of turn. And that's all there is to it. So the next video I'm going to be making is on creating a star field. And so the final product would ultimately be combining this with the star field. So check that video out. If you come up with a really cool way to make a planet, please feel free to share it. I'd love to see what you're creating. And that's all I have for today. Take care and I will talk to you later.